This is the assembly video for the B5 block and B5 has applique diamonds on the squares and then we've got like a log cabin type assembly here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to applique all four of these onto the squares first and then I'm going to connect them, these two with this bar and this as well and then I will add this piece and so then we'll form the center square and then I'll add this section and then this section, this one, and then finally that one. To base my pieces, this one's a little cut a little short, but I'm going to do opposite sides of the diamonds and then opposite sides. The same is going to be for the squares and then these two. For the bars, I'm going to base the short sides first and then the long sides and work on my assembly. So the first thing I'm going to do is base the diamonds and the green squares and then we can work on applique. So I basted my squares and my diamonds and I also basted these short bars for the next step. But I'm going to go ahead and staple my diamonds to my squares. What I need to do is draw a diagonal line from corner to corner so I can then line up the points of my diamonds accurately so they can be centered. And um, I may want to do it the other way, not the whole distance but I may want to do it the other way too, just so that I can line up these points as well to get the proper distance. So I'm going to go ahead and get those centered and stapled down. So I've completed the applique on all of my diamonds. And so the next thing to do is to connect them together. I've connected this one already. And so I've made sure that, you know, they're all going to point to the center. I flipped them over obviously, but um, this one's going to point to the center here and then this one needs to be turned. So I'm gonna double check the orientation and uh, get these connected in a row. So I've assembled both sections of the squares to their center bar. Now I'm going to baste this and attach these into one unit. So I've attached the center bar to one side of the squares so now I'm going to attach it to the other two squares. So I've attached the center squares to each other. Next step is to baste and attach this piece since it's the full distance of that one and then we can work around the square. So I've attached this top bar to the center and then the next one to do, this is the full length so that's the last one next one to do would be this one that's going to go from here to here so I'll go ahead and do that. So I've attached this side here making sure that my edges have lined up so the next one to do is this piece from that edge to this edge. So I've attached the bottom now the last step would be to attach this right side. So I've connected the last side and now my B5 block has been completed.